All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. During the time you're watching this video, your brain is sending chemical and electrical signals to help you comprehend the words and their meanings. The human brain constantly emits electrochemical waves that change according to its psychological state and the activity level. It's known that there are five waves. Number one are gamma waves, which occur when you are focusing on something or engaged in solving a problem and whose frequency is 40 hertz. Number two are beta waves, which occur when you are awake, alert, and engaged. Their frequency is between 13 to 30 hertz. Number three are alpha waves, which occur when you're relaxed or silent, and their frequency is between 8 and 12 hertz. Number four are theta waves, which occur when you're sleeping or dreaming, and their frequency is between 4 to 7 hertz. Number five are delta waves, which occur when your deep sleep is occurring without dreams or fainting, and their frequency is 3 hertz and below. Subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَفَلَا تُبْصِرُونَ Today we will see how the Quran affects our brain. MashaAllah, an interesting topic. Please explain. Sure, inshaAllah I'll explain. Do you know that the Quran is cure for mental and physical and spiritual disease? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, wa nunazilu min al Quran ma huwa shifa'un wa rahmatun lil mu'minin, wa la yazidu al zalimina illa khasara. The Prophet, peace be upon him, would also recite verses from the Quran at night in his hands and then run his hands in all over his body as a protection before going to sleep. So the Quran al Karim is not just a spiritual but also psychological cure. Al Quran is the perfect companion to lift you up when you are down, defeated, depressed, or unsatisfied. Al Quran relieves you even if you are non Arab and you don't understand its meanings. Let's watch this video. <laughs> Te deja el corazón suave. Subhanallah, this is the power of Allah's words. A Malaysian University of Technology conducted a study into the psychological and emotional impact of Quran recitation to record the brainwave activity during the Quranic recitation. Scientists used a device called an electrocephalogram. They discovered that the Quran recitation reduces the brain waves to alpha and theta waves. Okay, but what happens to us when the Quran reduces our brain waves to alpha and theta? What happens to us when the Quran reduces our brain waves to alpha and theta? That's a good question. By reducing our brain wave frequency to alpha and theta, we can enjoy a number of health benefits, like lowering the stress levels, controlling our minds to focus completely on the present, remaining calm even while under pressure, improving our intelligence, 
deep relaxation and peace life all of the above will make us enjoy our life which is important to our health and the emotional well-being the mind that operates at alpha waves is also associated with creative and lateral thinking lateral thinking can you tell me what it is it is the ability to look at a problem from many angles instead of tackling it head on. A person with an alpha level mind can also memorize up to 1500 words a day, as is the case with small children. The conclusion of the research shows that reciting just a page of the Quran reduces our brain waves to alpha, thereby leading to a rested and calmed mind. Subhanallah. In another study, a group of Muslim scientists wanted to learn how the Quranic melody affected our memories. The results were incredible. By listening to the Quran daily for only 15 minutes, even without any other skills or training, our memory can be significantly improved. Then how amazing is that? However, it's important to note that the research participants were listening to the Quran actively by using headphones. As you probably know, it's a commandment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us to listen to the Quran attentively. إِذَا قُرِئَ الْقُرْآنُ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ وَأَنصِتُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ Wonderful! From today on, I will study, listen and memorize the Quran to be more intelligent and more focused. Hold on a minute. The purpose of listening to the Quran is to get guidance. And along with that guidance, we get numerous benefits that lead to our success in this world and more importantly, in the afterlife. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him confirmed this when he said the best among you are those who learn the Quran and teach it. Therefore, please change your intention and learn the Quran and teach it to your children only for the sake of Allah. And then you will have everything you desire. Let's start our day by reciting the Quran. Listen to the Quran attentively for 15 minutes before an important exam. If you are stressed, recite at least a page from the Quran and recite a page after every salah. Jazakallahu khairan for your watching. May Allah fill our hearts with the love of the Quran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.